I'm diving into the Winter Wave 2022 of LEGO Super Mario, LEGO Super Luigi, Luigi's Mansion, and now, right here, Character Pack Series 4. The gloves are back on, baby. There's 10 characters here, as well as, instead of a suit, there's Bowser Jr.'s clown car that I'm going to be taking a look at in this more casual, rambly review. Thank you for joining me. My name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. 10 characters are part of the lineup. This clown car is awesome. I'm going to go over all the little details here for you in this in-depth review. Before we get any further, you may notice the penguin here doesn't have a base. That's unfortunately because I misplaced it. So as you see all the characters here, I'm going to go through them. This is uh, the penguin from Super Mario 64. Actually, let me get a little closer. If you know me, then you know my love of penguins, and this little bobby penguin is very adorable with two printed eyes. Now, the base for it, I happen to misplace, so what you're looking at right now is a bit of footage of what it looks like when you interact the character with Mario. So, Mario walks up to the penguin, it's like, ah, ah, and then the penguin basically gives you a little bit of hearts and then some coins as well. So an interactive character like Egad, it's the only character in the wave that's actually like this. So I really love the penguin. It's blue, the eyes are printed, and uh, just very adorable in general. I'm very sad I misplaced it right now, but I know I have it somewhere. Next up is the Goombrat, and the Goombrat is a little twerp, honestly, but very adorable nonetheless. So all the characters have an interactive tile on the back of them, except for the Penguin, because the Penguin has that interactive uh, front piece instead, like you saw. But this tile is unique, as you can tell, by the little insignia right there. It is specifically for the Goombrat. So what you do is you take a Lego Mario, hello Mario, and you just, you know, jump on top of the Goombrat just like that. You get a couple coins. A lot of these characters function the exact same way, so unless you're going to lose to a Goombrat, you're going to have no problem defeating this enemy and snagging a couple coins along the way. And every single one of these characters has uh, a little environment next to them, so as you can see with the bully, there's like a flame and magma area like in Mario 64. The Goombrat has like a stone and then some grassy bits too, just to add a nice little flair to your stand as a part of your LEGO Super Mario collection. As you can tell, this is the Bully, originally from Mario 64, but you may recognize this specific version from Mario 3D World. So obviously the characters come off of the stands like that. The jumper plates make them easily removable, but for the sake of it, I'm going to keep them on the stands when I have them on my display. So this one, I believe, has a little bit more life to it. So oof, there's a little oof coming out of Mario there. So you can't defeat the Bully in one go. So maybe... No, even with a little bit of force, you can't make that happen. Interesting. Uh, if you have a invincibility star, that probably helps you out a little bit. But, I mean, that makes sense. When you run into the bully, you don't actually defeat them. So you got to jump on top of them or lead them off the platform. I don't know. But a very cool little figure, nonetheless. This is the Para Bitty Bug, which I believe is from New Super Mario Brothers Wii, and also has the interactive tile on the top, as you can tell. And that's very easily defeatable by Mario. Printed pieces along each of the sides and the front piece right there. That is a one by two brick. And then, yeah, it looks like it's floating in the air. Normally, you see these stacked with a bunch of different colored Para Bitty Buds, right? Yeah, that's what they're called. Uh, but only in red for now, at least. This is the ant trooper that you would typically see in Bowser's castle or a bunch of them or big ones or whatever. So this one actually has the interactive tile on the side. So if we take this, we take Mario, very easily defeatable, just like the vast majority of the characters in Mario. And all of these characters in series four are new and exclusive to this series. So that impacts my overall feelings on the line. And this is an especially cool one also. This one is the scaredy rat. You may recognize the scaredy rat from uh, potentially some haunted mansions or Bowser's castle. So, you know, typical sort of thing. You get some uh, sand green masonry bricks. That's what they're called. You scan them on there, defeat them like no problem. So, yeah, nice to have that print and uh, cute little mouse, which I never thought I would say about a mouse because you know my history with mice. But anyways, this is a coin coffer, a very tricky enemy from the Mario series that coughs up a bunch of coins. So originally debuting, I think, in Mario 64, also in Mario Odyssey as well, in the Wooded Kingdom down below. So I like how they have, obviously, printed tile here, the sticker pre-applied on the top, but it combines two plates together to really highlight the sense of the mouth right there. So I'm assuming if I take Mario on top of here, get a bunch of coins. Yeah, there we go. 
So whereas before, you'd only get a couple of coins for destroying an enemy, you get a bunch more coins from the coin coffer. So when you're playing your level, you're getting a bunch more coins out of them than you normally would. This is the adorable Sting Bee, a bee enemy from Mario, I believe. And not from, uh, no, from Mario Galaxy, right? Mario Brothers Wii? I think they're all from 2D Mario for the most part. Except the penguin. I don't know. So scan this character right there, and then there you go, some more coins. But again, very nice to have another exclusive character to the lineup, especially a bee. One of the coolest of the lineup is the Mecha Koopa. As uh, one of the coolest of the lineup is the Mecha Koopa. You may recognize this from Super Mario World, tossing them up to Bowser in order to defeat him there. So interactive tile on the back. You got some printing on the front. Uh, the, all these stickers are pre-applied, of course, as with every single one of them. And then everything else is printed in the Lego Super Mario line, so that's pretty nice. Uh, this one doesn't have as stable of a stand to keep him on because there's only one jumper plate there, but I believe those pieces right there, typically used for, like, uh, on a Bowser's airship or something, those are new and exclusive to this set for now. So with this, I don't know how this interacts with Mario. Okay, so you have to hit this once, and then the second time you get some coins out of it, which makes sense because you typically throw this enemy at least a little bit. The hinge uh, here does allow the mouth to move at least a little bit. Finally, we have the Freezy, which the Freezy has a bit of a different, interesting play element to it, which isn't in any other LEGO Super Mario set, at least as far as I know, and I'm the, the king of LEGO Super Mario, or self-proclaimed king. So, take Mario on top of the Freezy. If you leave him on there, he eventually, he freezes, and he can't move, I guess. So, I don't know why you would necessarily do this in terms of the gameplay, but it's it's a thing. So the Freezy has a printed, that's uh, formerly a Nexo Knight's shield. And then on the back, you see the tile there, so obviously. But I like this powder blue, sand blue, I think it's actually called, the proper name. But yeah, he just freezes up, and then oof, oof and all up, and then that's it. So I've never seen that animation on top of Mario in that little area, so I don't know. It's interesting. It's different. And while I have you in the close-up, this is Bowser Jr.'s clown car. So if you have the starter course with Mario, you have Bowser Jr., which is very appropriate to have this to accompany it. Now, you may notice ever so slightly my printing on the right eye, techni yeah, technically left eye, of the clown car is a little bit scuffed. I don't know why. Not my fault. But this is a clown car. It's 10 bucks. So you see the interactive tile at the very bottom and then the... Um, the boxing gloves, which are originally from Super Smash Bros., so they're kind of putting Smash Bros. references in there with it. So, it, it funnily, okay, so Mario actually does go inside of here, just like this, and you may be able to hear a little bit of the music. And so as you're riding around in the clown car, it, it's actually very loud as a propeller sound is going off on the very bottom, and you're collecting a bunch of coins this way. Um, Bowser Jr. does fit inside of here, not very snugly, because he's just a little bit too short, so there's a lot of wiggle room with Bowser Jr. compared to Mario fitting inside of there. Mario, it's pretty, it's pretty stable. He can actually, his feet can reach the bottom, but Bowser Jr., uh, yeah, not so much. His hands are a little bit too high up. They should be a little bit higher in order for him to fit down toward the bottom. So uh, these two 2x4 two tiles are printed. Bowser Jr. is not included, but what is included is a bomb bomb. And there's a little green stand that goes with him. Unfortunately, I don't have it. But as I've said with a lot of the $10 sets that I've done reviews on, I felt like they should always come with an enemy. And now that we have this brick-built vehicle here, it actually did come with an enemy. So it gives a little bit more value as opposed to getting seven pieces of plastic for $10. So as you can see, I have the entire lineup here. And, and what do I think of Character Pack Series 4? I love this series because all the characters are exclusive, they are brand new, and they're easily accessible in $5 character packs as opposed to you paying $20, $30, $40 for a bunch of characters that you may not necessarily care about. There's quality characters in here. Mecha Koopa is fantastic. The coin coffer is great. Freezy, the, the penguin, the bully. These are core characters to the Mario franchise that they easily could have put in higher ticket item sets, but they put them in the character packs here. And when it comes to this, 
this is a lot more stuff and a lot more valuable as a set compared to just seven pieces of plastic for $10. This is a $10 set. It comes with the ball mom and a little green stand. Again, I don't have it near me, but having this and have that be accompanying the starter course is really, really valuable and is by far the best value for any of the $10 sets that have ever come out for Lego Super Mario. And the good thing is you don't need to buy a whole bunch of other stuff to appreciate this. You just get Mario and Bowser Jr. can hop inside of here too because this is his clown car. So it just looks really right and it looks really awesome. Bowser cannot fit in here because this is Bowser Jr.'s Koopa clown car. So it's a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll get Bowser's eventually. I don't know. But this is a great start. I really love this. I love actually all of this, and I have no issue recommending any of these to you at all. Five bucks per character. It, it makes sense. You get a little stand with it, some pieces to really deck out your levels with a bit more detail if you want to, but I approve of the line. I can recommend it with ease. So thank you for joining me. I have more videos coming up soon for all of the Lego Super Mario and Luigi's Mansion sets coming up in the very near future. But until then, keep on meowing it out, and I'll see you in the next one, all right? Bye.